been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back to another skateboard video. And in this video, I want to try to finish uh, putting it all together here. See if it actually works, you know. If it'll ride me around, I guess is the point. If you haven't seen the other video, go check them out. Of how I put the uh, batteries together there and the uh, the whole setup and stuff. So, but in any case, in this video, we're going to try to wrap it up here. Um, I went ahead and uh, connected the controllers, which I'll explain in a second. So hopefully I can get this bad boy going and uh, we can see what it's really made out of. But in any case, let's get started. Um, I took the liberty of going ahead and doing some of the stuff off camera, which is basically just connecting the controllers. So there was a power that connected them together, which I cut. Here's the wires here, the wires here. And so these wires are soldered to this battery here. And this one is soldered to this. So the idea here is somehow to isolate the controller from the battery here so it doesn't, you know, short anything out. That's the plan because i got too much open wires here. So it's a little bit tricky. You know, you want to be careful because if anything shorts out in these batteries, you're going to have some smoke and fire for sure. Or wires melting. In any case, we don't want that so we're going to try to be as diligent as we can. Um, all of the stuff that I'm doing is not super pro so if you want to take more time and do a better job that would be definitely recommended so I'm kinda just prototyping I'm hoping I'll work and uh, I think I will eventually rebuild all this because I don't really like the overall you know look of it because you know I've made mistakes and whatnot else and it's not perfect so I think once I get all the bugs worked out I'm just gonna you know build me a pretty awesome board after this so but in any case we can still have fun with this board obviously alright so let's go over the details a little bit right quick um, so the batteries are obviously built so after that you know you need to connect your power to the uh, controllers that's done and so then obviously your motors here the drives need to be connected to the uh, controller here so that's done here so that's all these wires and uh, these extra plugs here are the uh, sensors the hall sensors for the uh, for the motor so without those sensors if you unplug them it'll still work but they'll be loud like there's a louder sound to them and they don't seem as consistent these controllers are made for exactly these motors so it makes a perfect match so at this point everything should be working if you got all your stuff connected so and you know here's the power button so if we push the power on as you can see it all comes on just fine it's all blinking and stuff and if I turn on the controller it should connect which I think it just did yeah it did it connects pretty instantly, honestly. Like instantly. So let me back up here for a little bit. So everything should be connected and we should have Yep, all wheels spinning. So So this is actually on slow mode. But this is on medium here, so um, the other controllers seem to have a little bit more lag in between. So I think these controllers are actually the updated ones because the first controller I had was the first generation of them. I think this is a newer style. And the reason I think that is because of a feature that I didn't have on my other one, uh, on the other controller that I have on this one, which is, let me show you guys. If I turn it off here, so it's off, the controller is not connected anymore. As you can see that blue dot's not flashing. And there it goes, it completely came off. Um, if I just spin the tire here, it comes on. And I didn't uh, I didn't have this feature uh, before, so so it's pretty cool. So now all you gotta do is just turn on your controller and just push the board and you ready to roll. So I'm really excited about that. That's a nice feature that I always wanted to have. Alright guys, since I'm per prototyping mostly uh, I'm probably just going to use this little foam here that I got to isolate it from the uh, batteries here so that should work pretty good and it's going to give it that little shock absorbent so then I'm going to put some foam on top of it too and then when I put the lid on it'll just kind of smash them together there and it won't move anywhere and it'll have a really good cushion in between so anyways what I need to do is start working on my lids uh, drilling holes and stuff for these wires here and for the power button you need to make a hole for that 
Alright guys, so I made some progress. Um, I started working on this cap and I made a hole and put the power button in. As you can see it looks really good. Nut on the back of it. And I made a couple holes here on the back of it for those guys right there. And then I made a wide hole up front here. Just not so tall but just wide for a little center so I'm gonna run these wires through here for now obviously because anything else I'd have to redo a lot of stuff so I don't want to do that right now so anyways and I got all this stuff tucked in here pretty nicely I think should be fine in this little foam so when I put this on top it'll actually kind of just lightly so lightly uh, push on it just a bit so that'll keep it in place pretty good I think but in any case so I think this side's pretty much done all I gotta do is plug this in and put this in and then I can drill the holes around I'm probably only gonna put four screws for now um, actually I still have to unsolder this power here and I have to work on that box so, so I finally got this one on um, it didn't go as planned <laughs> but that's the usuals so because of my concave board I wanted to kinda push this down so I could minimize this gap I still have a gap in there I don't know if you can see it's hard to see but maybe on this side you can see I got a little gap there but in any case um, this plastic here is kind of whenever it bends it cracks easy so not the best thing to use so here's my ugly four screws I'm trying to hold the uh, thing down so I guess for now it's fine not too too happy about it but I'm fine with it so and I got some electrical tape going over over here so that's not pretty either but it's okay, it's coming along, so this side of the board is basically done. And uh, the button's still here, everything's fine, and it still works. So everything's good. So now I just gotta get that side done. Yeah, and then we'll be pretty much done, I guess. Alright guys, so we're getting closer. I did all the holes here, drilled, and got the charger connected, soldered. So it looks pretty nice, actually. There it is. So now all I gotta do is put this lid on and screw it down. Unfortunately that's not working out the best but I put some tape around here to uh, seal it a little better the cracks while testing it if I hit any puddles or whatever. I want to minimize the water going in here. So anyways I need to tidy all this up and then put the lid on and we'll have a skateboard. Wow. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to put some tape around here and maybe tidy up a couple other things, but look at that. It's actually good. I got the charger connected and it's charging. So everything is good. We should be good to roll. So last test. Well, I guess we can do this. Okay, turned on. Remote. Alright guys, so this is pretty exciting. I was looking forward to this day for a while now, so I want to see, and I'm sure a lot of you want to know, how this thing will perform. So, Unfortunately, the weather is terrible. It's actually raining. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. So we'll probably give it a little ride around in the house first and see, make sure everything works good. So, Alright guys, so I got the board here on the uh, floor sitting and I uh, just wanted to kind of let you see the profile here so yeah it's got a little bit of the uh, DIY look to it for sure because of those big um, cases there so not crazy about it but not upset either since you know I'm just prototyping but I definitely definitely think that this needs to be slimmer but honestly it doesn't look too bad overall as you can see, it's got a pretty good stance to it. Could be better, but what are you going to do? So not too bad, I would say. Still looks pretty good. Overall. Anyways, let's uh, give it a ride here right in the house and see how she moves. Alright guys, so I just turned on the remote. And uh, I'm going to try to just kickstart it here by pushing it and it started and the remote connected like instantly 
Yep, it started, it's on. So let's see. Uh, last time when I had this, uh, the it will always start in reverse. But there we go. Wow, that's crazy. Just barely tapped that thing. Yeah, it's going forward now, so that's great. So let's push the uh, reverse button. Well, I can tell you that this thing is already uh, looking crazy. All right, I'm going to get on it here. Oh man. Okay. All right, guys, I'm even scared to do, <laughs> to even try it in the house. It's it's ridiculous, actually. It's got crazy torque, and I got the setting on the on the low on the lowest one. So I don't know. This four wheel drive is a beast. I have no doubt this thing is going to make up any hill. I don't know why, but I think it's, I, I, I can just feel it, so anyways, I think it's going to be crazy. Let's flip it up around again. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. This tape doesn't really make me look all that great either, but it's kind of peeling off here and there. That's okay for now. And if these were painted black, I think it would look better, but I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video is going to be actually uh, maybe a little bit of riding and, you know, maybe climbing some hills. Maybe getting a top speed. We'll see. I'm a little scared to get this thing too fast. I'm definitely going to be needing to wear a helmet now. If everything works out great, I'll probably keep using it like this for a little while just to make sure everything's great. Then I'll pop the covers off. I'll check everything, batteries, make sure they're charging and discharging good. And uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'm definitely going to be probably planning a new build for this whole system eventually, but that's later down the pipeline. In any case, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was useful and it was a value where you could use the information to do your own builds. But I'm really happy with this thing. I think I will be. It's not a cheap route to do it like this for a world system. But I have a feeling it's worth it because you will have a board that will destroy most boards. Anyways, and I think the new the new controllers in there have something to do with the power output. So I might have a lot higher speed than I did before. Because before I could only top out at about 20 miles per hour with my weight. So I have a feeling this one's going to do faster. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you liked it. And... Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, stay tuned for more videos and check out my other skateboard videos on this channel and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.